Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be doing a review of the Dubu heated jacket. So stay tuned. All right guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a review of the Dubu heated jacket. They actually contacted me to give it a try and they sent me one, so thanks Dubu for sending me a jacket. So I've actually had the Dubu jacket for a couple months now. I actually really wanted to put it to the test and use it in the different types of scenarios, like if I'm gonna be going fishing, uh, be outside, and then I've also even just used it as a daily jacket. So I've been wearing this pretty much uh, every day. Um, I'm not necessarily using the heated function of it all the time, but I've just been trying to get the most use I can out of it and really kind of see how much it can take to the wear and tear of just, you know, daily use and then even just using it in the elements. So this Dubu jacket is obviously the black color. This is a medium sized jacket and it actually fits me pretty well. What I did is I used the measurements that are on the website to determine which size I was gonna get and it actually fits pretty good. Uh, I got a small size for my son. Uh, it's a little bit big on him, but he's kind of, or he is much smaller than me, but I think he's gonna eventually grow into it anyways. But it also fit my wife pretty well, so it kind of became kind of a dual purpose jacket where my son could use it or even my wife could use it as well. So the Dubu heated jacket, as the name says, is a heated jacket. It has um, several heating elements. There's uh, some here on the front and then on the backs of the sleeves, both sides. So two front sides here on the backs of the sleeves, then also here on the back as well. And uh, inside has a nice uh, lining right here. It's a pretty nice soft lining. And then you have like the wires that are embedded inside and that's where everything heats. And then on the inside here, on the left side, there is a pocket and that's actually where your, your battery goes. It's just this little battery. Yeah, so this battery is actually uh, 8,000 milliamps. It's actually fairly small. Here, I could take my phone. This is a Pixel 6, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how big the battery is. It's not too, too big, but the nice thing with this battery is that it actually doubles as a uh, battery pack to charge like your cell phone or whatever uh, USB type device you have. And a nice thing, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this when you click onto the battery. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna see that, but it'll show you how much percentage you have on it. So I've got 45% left on the battery because I've been actually using it every day um, this week to, when I take the kids to the bus, I'll turn it on just to see how well it works and such. But uh, the nice thing is just, you know, you have also a way to charge your phone or whatever USB accessory you have. And the way to connect the battery, you can see the pocket that's right here, is you just have this little cable right here. It plugs right into the battery like so. And then this is kind of the, I guess, on button, because if you haven't used it in a while, you actually do have to press this and then, there's a LED here. This LED will like flash white and you know that your battery is active. And then you just slide the battery in like so. And then they zip it up and it's uh, safe and secure. So this jacket actually has quite a few pockets on it. Uh, it has the two front up here that are a little bit high. Uh, do not uh, put your phone in here if you're on a boat or what have you. Um, I did actually lose my phone because I put it in here. Forgot it was there and bloop, went right in the drink. Uh, I do have a video showing that. If you want to see that, I'll provide a link to that up above. But it has the two pockets here. And then you've got uh, these small pockets here on the side here of your sleeves. And there's another one here as well. And then you can see it's got, uh, it's got the nice patch here. It comes with the US flag patch. And uh, it's got Velcro here. It's got it actually on both sides. And you can put it, I guess, on either side uh, if you want. And on the lower sleeve of the left, there's one pocket here. There actually isn't one on the right side. And there are also additional pockets on the back here. So I guess you can put more storage in the back. This pocket actually goes all the way to the other side. They connect here. There's two zippers on each side. And you know, you can stuff whatever in the back right here. And also on the sleeves, you can see here, it's got uh, Velcro here. So you can adjust it to whatever tightness you want it to be. 
can let it kind of hang or I like to tighten it a little bit so that it doesn't keep sliding down. It's got on both sides. It's made really well. And the one thing that is kind of unusual with the jacket is the fact they put the zipper part is actually on the left side, not the right. Um, usually that means that it's a jacket for women. Um, I don't know why they did that. It's just kind of unusual, but uh, I'm actually used to it now. And it actually has uh, two zippers here. You can see, hopefully you can see that. There's two zippers. You can see the one here on the top and then the bottom. What that allows you to do is, so when you zipper it, like so, <laughs> zippers up pretty nice. From the bottom, you can actually undo it from the bottom. And yes, why would you want to do that? Well, let's say like you wanted to get access to the battery without having to zipper it all the way down. You can actually zipper and then access your battery right here. While we're here, uh, there is actually the drawstrings because it does have a hood. Here on the back, that is detachable. But to put the hood on, you actually have to unzip a little bit. And then you can put the hood on, like so. Zip it up, and the hood actually covers you pretty well. But you do have these drawstrings here. Wow, with a little clip here, you can tighten, tighten it down more like so. And then the hood, that's pretty tight. <laughs> so inside of the pocket, there is a uh, little bit of webbing with a D-ring. I guess if you want to attach something there with a split ring or what have you. So they have that, and then also the pull string. You can see it tightens the, the hood as well. So and also on the back of the jacket, there's actually on the bottom, uh, drawstring here and this will actually tighten the the bottom here if you want to make it tighter um, you really don't have a use for that but it is there so you have a lot of adjustability on the jacket so uh, right there as you can see and the big part of the jacket is how do you turn it on well you've got this button that's right here on the left side what you do is just hold this down for three seconds. Should turn red. If you can see that. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it turn to red there. And uh, red is the highest setting. When you have it on the highest setting, it's like almost instantaneous. You actually feel the heat right away. And the next setting is the middle setting. If you just press it, it'll actually turn blue. If you can see that. That's the middle setting. Press again, it turns green. And then if you press it again, it'll just go cycle through red, blue, green. And then if you want to turn it off, you actually just hold it again for three seconds and you'll see it turns off like so. So for the different settings I've used, you know, the high, uh, medium, low, and I've actually found that depending on the temperature, like really on when I got the jacket, I think I got it towards the end of November. It was a little bit mild this year or last year, really. And the the jacket itself, I mean, it kept me warm without even having to use the heated element piece. The only time I had to really use the heated element piece was when it was uh, early in the morning. It'd be kind of like in the like 30s, maybe mid to upper 30s, and I'd get it in the 40s. And then when it got to like mid 40s, I didn't really need to use it at all because um, this actually just kept me warm as it is. So. Um, yeah, if I wanted to get a little bit warmer, I mean, it didn't feel uncomfortable when it was like maybe in about the, I'd say mid, mid forties and then we get into 50. Once it's in 50, you don't need it at all. At least that's just my preference. Um, cause I'd still have layers, like I would have a hoodie and then I'd have actually also a, um, a thermal underneath and then also a, uh, t-shirt as well. So I had a couple of layers plus the jacket. So I was pretty warm. Uh, with just the jacket alone. So as we got into December, December was a little bit mild as well. Um, we even got 60 degrees in December, and even on uh, New Year's Day, it was 60 degrees, but I didn't get the fish at that time. But I did get the fish a few days before New Year's. Um, it was like in the 40s. And again, the jacket kept me pretty warm. 
without even having to turn it on. You know, again, it was just the early morning hours that I really did need it. We also did a fishing cleanup. It was sometime in uh, November, towards the end of November, and it was a bit chilly outside, actually. It was a lot colder probably than the times that I'd been out on the boat fishing. So I did turn it on. Uh, I actually kept it on kind of the higher setting because it was a little bit cooler that day. Um, it kept me pretty warm uh, during the cleanup that we did. And then we had kind of a meeting afterwards, just kind of standing around and uh, just adjusted it, put it onto the, I think it was the low setting and that kept me pretty warm. Um, and it was probably like, I don't know, I want to say like 40, maybe 40s, upper 30s, 40s. And, you know, this really did keep me warm, nice and toasty. So lately uh, with going to the bus stop with my kids, uh, this actually helped quite a bit. It's been pretty cold now. It's uh, January now, and sometimes it's in the upper teens and, you know, 20 degrees-ish. So turning it on actually helped me just, you know, being at the bus stop while all the other parents are freezing or whatever. They feel bad for my kids. Well, my daughter, because she doesn't have one. I see it, but getting one for my son and he loves the jacket. But, you know, I could be nice and comfortable, you know, just casually standing there and, you know, everybody else is freezing their, you know, what's off. So, you know, I've actually really liked the jacket and it works great for my needs. All right, guys, so that was my review of the Dubu heated jacket. I actually like it a lot. I use it every day and it's a great, daily jacket. It's great for going outdoors. I do a lot of fishing, so I've used this numerous times on the boat, and then I'll be using it on the kayak as well in the near future. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos. And I'll also give you guys an update a little bit later to let you guys know how the jacket has uh, done for me over a whole winter. It's now mid-January, so we got a couple more months to go through and then it's gonna probably get even colder. So that'd be probably even better real use out of the jacket. So if you guys are interested in a Dubu jacket, I have a link to it in the description below. So make sure you guys check that out. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And I got a plane coming. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Probably can. See, these are some of the things you gotta deal with. This content creator is stuff outside, all these noises, you got planes, you've got delivery trucks, cars passing by, people, but such is life.